Hey guys, I think it's time we upgraded the audio in this 20 year old BMW E46 M3 convertible. We hack it up the M3. Hey guys, Raj Sanger of Cardi Security, welcome back to the channel. So, this 20 year old BMW E46 M3 convertible, fantastic car but rubbish audio. We have the stock system that the car left with when it left the factory in 2003. So just turn the ignition back on. So here we have the original screen stroke sat nav. You've got no Bluetooth, you've got no DAB. You have got sat nav, but the disc is 18 years old. So there's no CarPlay, it's not touchscreen. And as you can see, the screen is pixelated. Whoever spec the car originally ticked the box for Harman Kardon. Nice audio upgrade. However, the front speakers are shot. In fact, the left-hand side doesn't even work. There is a sub in the back. It's hardly a sub. Uh, and in fact, there's no depth or quality in the audio at all. So today's all about upgrading the audio in this car. Now, let me show you what's going in. Right, guys. This is what's going into the car. So it's quite a lot of equipment. We are bringing it into the 21st century. Let me start with the stereo. So we are going for one of Kenwood's best-selling products, seven inch CarPlay stereo, wireless CarPlay that is, the DMX8021 DABs. Also works with Android Auto, gives you DAB, gives you Bluetooth, including Bluetooth streaming. You've got USB, plenty of features. There is a separate episode on our channel dedicated to the stereo in the description below. You can watch that episode and you'll be up to speed on all the tech in this unit. So now let's talk about the audio. The stock amplifier in the BMW is poor, just about runs a subwoofer. We're going to replace it with a five channel amplifier that will run the front speakers, the rear speakers, and the subwoofer. That's the Focal FPX 5.1200. Now all the specs for the equipment here will again be in the description below. Click on the links and that'll take you to our website, cardiscurity.com. Um, front speakers. Now the front speakers on the E46 M3s, the door speakers are actually mounted on the door card, not on the door, which is typically the scenario. And they are six and a half inch components. So when you take the door card off, the speaker comes off with it. So we're going all focal. Uh, in the front, six and a half inch component kit. In the rear, we've gone with a focal four inch speaker and a separate tweeter. The, the additional tweeter is not really needed because the four inch speaker actually has a tweeter built in. It's a two way speaker. But adding that additional tweeter will give that extra sharpness in the back, especially when the hood is down. Finally, subwoofer. Now, you could just buy an active subwoofer and plonk it in the back, but what we're going to do is build a custom sub box which fits underneath the hood. I'll show you that in a moment. And we're going to be using a 10 inch focal subwoofer. Very good quality Flax Evo subwoofer. Finally, wiring, fitting accessories. There's an abundance of kit that you need with this car. So you need an additional cage, which is designed purely for the E46 cars. Um, you also need a lot of wiring for the Kenwood stereo, and it'll be the same whatever stereo you replace it with. So you've got a quad lock extension lead, you've got quad lock canvas adapter there. Now guys, let me show you the boot and give you an idea of the box and where the box is going to sit. Now, because it is a convertible, you do lose a portion of the boot. In a standard coupe, you wouldn't have this plastic housing here. This is where the hood is stowed. So underneath there, you've got the original subwoofer, which is the Harman Kardon subwoofer, which came with the car. And that's a ski hatch as well. So that subwoofer will be coming out and that will allow the, the new subwoofer in the box to fire directly into the car. We're gonna make a custom box, which you're gonna sit underneath here. I'm gonna try and keep it in line with where the hood is stowed. If it needs to be slightly bigger, I'm not really too fussed about that, but I don't want to use the whole of the boot space. I'm now gonna leave it to the engineers. They'll get on with their work. I'm sure throughout the process, Jay will give you an idea of what he's doing. And then I'll be back at the end of this episode, show you all the equipment working, and we'll have a listen. We hack it up the M3. 
They're not hacking up the M3. We're no, hacking up the M3. <laughs> They're improving the M3. A, a lot of E46 M3s we've had through the workshop. They've been messed around with over the years and there's clips missing, there's clips broken, the panels are loose, all the screws are in place, nothing's broken. So that's a, a positive for this car. I'm gonna leave the guys to it and I'll be back at the end of this episode. See you later, Jake. <laughs> BMW E46 M3 convertible is now all completed. In fact, Purav's also come around from the office and tuned the amplifier and set it all up nicely for me. So as you can see, the biggest difference is the stereo. Uh, we now have the all new, all singing, all dancing Kenwood DMX8021 dabs, seven inch uh, touchscreen unit, which has Android Auto, wireless CarPlay, got DAB radio. Now, all the steering wheel controls still operate the functions on the stereo. So you've got your volume up and down and you've got your track selection as well. So that still all works. The front speakers, we've changed them to the Focal ISU 165s. The original speakers are Harman Kardon. Pretty good in the day, but one side was blown. And if you look at the difference between the original HK speaker, which 20 years ago was amazing and you look at the speaker now it's night and day difference the new focal is a polyglass design where the original hk speakers were a sort of paper cone very tired uh, and couldn't really handle much volume in the rear so in the rear guys we're going to replace the original hk uh, five and a quarter inch speakers with some focal four inch speakers the reason why we're going to go a size smaller was there isn't much depth to play with in the back but actually on closer inspection, we found that there's a range of focal speakers, the ISU 130s, which have the separate tweeter, so it's a five and a quarter inch component kit, which do fit in, and they're actually slightly deeper than the original speaker that was in the stock location. So that's gonna give a much improved sound over the original stock speaker, fits in the original location, although we had to uh, make some custom trim rings to fit that speaker in. Also in the front, if you recall, we've added some of those uh, foam rings, which cup up against the back of the speaker around the magnet and that allows the sound to travel into the car rather than stay in the door card. Guys, let me show you the boot and the sub box that we have made. So plenty of boot space there. So you can put, if need be a suitcase or some luggage, golf clubs, whatever you want. You have some space there. As you can see, the sub is ported into the boot and firing into the boot. But believe you and me, the sound does travel into the cabin area. We have removed the ski hatch. Five channel lamps, so five channels, two channels power in the front, two channels power in the rear, and one channel power in the base. Guys, there's also a Focal base controller which comes with the five channel lamp, and that sits here on the right hand side of the steering wheel in the little cubby pocket. That allows me to reduce the base and increase the base depending on obviously what mood I'm in and what type of music I'm playing. So that's the boot installation done. Now, obviously, guys, you want to hear it. Now, when I did listen to it earlier on, there was a little bit of rattle coming from the tailgate. So we've removed the toolkit and we've removed the carpet. We've added a sand deadening dynamat inside here. Now, let's get inside and have a listen. For YouTube copyright reasons, I've got to be very selective on the track that I play. I'm going to use an iPhone cable, so wired cable. The USB output from the Kenwood, we've run into the glove box that's nicely stowed and hidden away. Um, remember, you can use uh, wireless uh, Bluetooth streaming, um, but for that best quality, it's always good to have a wired cable. Crystal clear, very sharp, and it's not overpowering from the front. I can still hear left ear and right ear. I can hear some music from behind. Lovely, lovely, punchy bass. Now I'm at volume 20, 19 now. It's not distorting whatsoever. And earlier on, I did listen to this at quite a high volume and it wasn't distorting. Now this is night and day difference from the original stock HK kit. And remember the HK kit wasn't stock. 
that was an aftermarket upgrade, which I think in 2003 was probably about a thousand pound tick box option. So we've replaced the front speakers, the rear speakers. We've replaced the Harman Kardon subwoofer, which sits where the ski hatch is. We've replaced the Harman Kardon amplifier as well with the focal amplifier. So all that has come out. Now, I've got to say, this is impressive, guys. Now, here in the UK, we probably get 10 days a year where actually I can have the hood down. So let's get the hood up and see what difference that makes to the base and to the mids and to the tops. Turn the volume up a touch. Already sounds a lot sharper and cleaner because the sound is now staying inside the cabin. It's not traveling out. Let's wait for that bass. Okay. What a difference the bass is as well. The bass is definitely a lot punchier. Ultimately with the roof up, all that sound is now, the bass from the boot is now traveling into the car, into the cabin and staying in the cabin area. Just like the mids and the tops. Right guys, let's talk costs. Now the biggest single cost of the install when it comes to the components is the stereo. This particular Kenwood stereo, the DMX 8021 dabs, is 600 pounds. You could go a little bit cheaper. There's a Kenwood DMX 5020 dabs, which is a slightly smaller screen, doesn't have wireless CarPlay, and that's half the price. You're probably looking at spending about 200 pounds, give or take, on fitting accessories. Don't go for the cheapest fitting accessories, guys, because you will get a lot of engine noise and engine whine and interference. And you've got the sub box now. Now, sub box, it depends how much bass you want. You can have a lot more bass than what we've got here. You can go for a bigger box. Um, typically, a, a custom sub box will cost about five to six hundred pounds to make. Um, there is a cheaper solution which we actually do sell. It's for an eight inch subwoofer. It's a very small box. It sits in the middle underneath the hood where the hood stows. That sub box alone is 80 pounds. We wanted to go a little bit further in terms of quality. So hence why we've gone for a custom sub box. And then you've got labor installation. Um, and typically for an install like this, stereo, um, speakers, amplifier, running everything, you're looking probably about 750 pounds in terms of labor. So in total, you're looking somewhere around three and a half thousand pounds supplied and fitted for a, a similar setup. You could spend two thousand pounds and have maybe something a little bit more entry level, uh, such as a smaller screen Kenwood stereo. You know, you could go for a small inline four channel amp and just a, a single channel mono amp um, and a, not have a custom box. You could spend considerably more and have higher quality components used, but you could quite easily be spending five to six thousand pounds there. We've gone middle of the road. We didn't want to go budget end. We didn't want to go top end because this car is going up for sale when everything is finished. So we decided to go middle of the road to try and keep everybody happy. Right, so that's the audio episode done for this M3 convertible. There is one episode remaining. And in that episode, we will paint the front end and the car will be detailed, mopped, scratch free, and then it's going up for sale. That episode will drop within a couple of weeks of this episode dropping on the channel. After which time, the car will be up for sale. So that's as you see it, with the complete audio installed, the fresh wheels, the fresh paint, the ST suspension that we've installed, everything. So guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you smash that like button. Let me know what you think of the audio install. Um, if you've got an E46, tap us up. Details are down below uh, in the description. Make sure you subscribe to the channel because when the next episode drops, you will know and you can watch that final episode. And if you're after the car, tap me up and buy it. Guys, thanks for watching. See you next time.